All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Ancient Warfare 3. So first things first, normally we like to jump right into the action. That's kind of how we do it over here. But I want to give you guys a quick little heads up on some important information. So I got to play Fallout 76 over the weekend. I was one of a, a select few who was brought up by Bethesda to West Virginia. West Virginia! Mountain Mama. I'm, I'm a terrible singer, but I'll tell you what, West Virginia was cool. I got to play the game for three hours. I am so hyped for this game. I've got the footage. I can share it when I can share it. You catch my meaning? So as soon as I can tell you when, I will say this, it's rather soon. So hit that follow button, hit that subscriber button, get the bell notification, feed the messenger pigeons, eat some peanut butter and jelly, Toast up that bread, get ready, because I'm so excited. We got some really, really good footage. I fought some epic beasts. We had some battles. It was good stuff. We're actually going to have a Fallout-inspired uh, battle in Ancient Warfare 3 at the end of this video, or rather in the second battle, so stay posted for that. Anyway, um, I'm very excited for that. So if you guys want to see some Fallout content, let me know in the comments below. Who's excited for Fallout 76? What mods for Fallout should we check out in other games? <laughs> I've had too much Nuka Cola today, but let me know in the comments what 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 are some good mods for Fallout? Let's get into some battles. Oh my God, this might be some of the best military bases I have seen on this. Oh my God, in this game, maybe of all time ever. This is the blue area. Oh my gosh, is this scripted? I I dare say it is. I dare say it is. And I think we're gonna have some red reinforcements as well. Check this out. So the Red has laid out this amazingly well-defended and well-fortified- uh, Oh, we got planes up in the air! They, you know they're gonna be dropping in paratroopers all over this ground. It looks like this was a battle site from the past. This one is Operation Desert Viper. It was made by Desert Mammoth and Vipers 213. It's amazing to see the things that can happen when people work together. Oh, I need to find some, some people to play fun games with. I'm still working on it. What YouTuber should I play games with? Who do you think would be cool to play games with? Anyway, let's start this battle up. All right, we're spawning in here. Let's 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 get on top of this hill here to figure out. Oh look, we got an amphibious invasion. We got blue troops. We got paratroopers coming in, and I've got this really impressive pew, 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 pew. <laughs> assault rifle. So I'm actually participating in this battle, and it looks like we've got a few waves of men just coming in. That guy's got an RPG. And then we got the paratroopers. I'm supposed to kind of link up with them, so I actually got to take out these guys real quick. But see, the, the cool thing about this is, like, I get to both watch the battle and participate in it, right? Okay. Here we go. I've got to walk through this. All oh, the paratroopers have almost landed. I'm supposed to uh, recon over there, link up with them, and give them the plans of attack. Oh, my God. We've got a, we got a heavy machine gunner here. i got to take him out, or else he'll just slaughter my friends. All right, so I think we should make it to this base just in time. Hello, boys! Welcome to the war! I think most of them are landing outside the base. Oh my god, hold, hold the phone! We got enemy soldiers here! Whoa! More enemy soldiers over to the left! Gentlemen, take this flag! All right, this one's taken for the good guys. I love the capture the flag mechanics. All right, we got bad guys coming in here. Suppressing fire! AKA firing, but not really at a, a specific target. Oh, my health. I got hit pretty hard. Where'd I get hit from? Behind me? Great Scott. They're armed with Chinese assault rifles. Is this Fallout? Oh my god, I'm so excited for Fallout. Everything is gonna be Fallout for the next couple of days in my mind. If you know what I mean. Hello, soldier. Oh, shoot! Woo! Oh my god, that was scary. There, this guy's coming in. Reload, reload, reload! Don't let him kill me! Oh man, this thing can go rat a tat tat if it needs to. Come on, boys. What's happening on the war effort? How many flags do we have? We have three out of the five. Look in the lower left. This is really, really cool that this is in ancient warfare. They've got a, a rather complex uh, flag capture system in the game. So, ooh, are those spikes or plants? They look like grass, but they also look rather sharp. So I'm kind of nervous with that. All right, someone's firing a mortar. Let's see if I can't... If 
find him and snipe him. Oh, there's one of the other flags. All right, I've got to take out this bunker position. I, I don't know what they're doing over there. Oh, never mind. That guy's got a mortar. Run! Huh! He shot mortars at me! All right, I think I've overran... <laughs> not overran the position, not yet. I've got to go run it over to have overrun it. Look at these tanks, man. I... It's cool that people have been working on these mods. Oh, these all three had mortars. Okay, so I took that out. My health is incredibly low. What is this? Press F to use the mortar? All right, I don't think I'm ready for that just yet. My health is low. I'm not sure if there's med packs in the game, but I really wish there were at least medics, because that would be super helpful. All right, so they've taken three. We lost one of our, one of our attack points. So I've got to see what it's gonna, what is it gonna be to help break the siege here? Oh man, I'm running out of munition too. This this gun's great, but I'm running out. Yeah, man, I, it's just these guys can take a lot of hits with that body armor on. All right, I've only got ten rounds left. We're gonna need to find another gun. So I'm gonna head over here to my allies and hope that they're armed with pretty good guns. If not. I got an S4 here. Oh, 150 rounds. It doesn't have a scope. Whoa! Get out of the way, soldier. I got an RS50. This thing looks like it's a single shot. Oh, there's a flag point. All right, so I've got to go assist my friends over there. The goal here... Ooh! We're down to what? Four people? Red victory? Okay, okay. Uh, let's go to the custom battle editor here. See, this is cool. This is this is great. Now, now that I've all right, so here we go. There's this flag point here, and then there's one right there. Whoa! Excuse me, I don't know what that was. I swear that never happens. I swear it never happens, honey. She's like, yes, it does. Anyway, that was, a, that was a discussion for another day. So they do get reinforcements. We get commandos that get dropped. Maybe. You know what? You know what I'm thinking? That we need more men. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do is increase the number of guys that come in via the para drop, right? I mean, that, that it seems like a decent place to start. I really wish we could uh, have helicopters that could fly in and land on a specific point and drop them off. All right, so it looks like I'm in the water again. Did I spawn in, in a random spot? This doesn't seem like where I spawned in last time. All right, we gotta take out that guy. There we go. We've taken out the heavy machine gun. Someone was shooting at me. All right, let's 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 silence these trench guards here. Excellent. Whoa, got to watch out for those spikes. Okay, there is... Is that guy armed with a heavy MG over there? No, it's just a regular assault rifle. Took him out. Oh, those, those dang mortar guys, right? I think that's a mortar guy. So if I silence him... The paratroopers are coming in. I got to watch out for these uh, palisade walls. Or punji sticks. A little bit of a mix of both right there. They're, some very, very sharp sticks. I gotta silence these mortar guys. Because if I... Yeah, that was one of those things I didn't see right away. I've gotta be mindful of my right flank, because those guys are definitely gonna be heading over this way at some point. Someone was shooting at me, I think, from the other side. Okay, paratroopers, let's do this, boys! We gotta take all the flags. Um, so we have 529 and they have 620. Oh my god, that's a huge advantage. Two headshots. Two headshots is all it takes, boys. All right, so we've taken this one. All right, uh, I'm gonna focus on this flank now. My my gun is almost out, but I think we should have enough. Actually, I wonder if my guys can't take it by themselves. Here we go. Oh, I got it. Here we go. Come on. Yes. Okay, we took out one of the guns. I've got three rounds left, and there's one more heavy machine gun. I think if I take that out, we should be fine. One, two. Three. Oh god, we, we need another gun ASAP. ASAP, boys. ASAP! I said ASAP, son! Hurry that along! Alright. I gotta take this guy out. Oh, rat a tat, son. There we go. Now, what's the score? It's 380 to 360 something. We're ahead, boys. We are ahead in the battle for Desert Viper. This is Operation Desert Viper. I'm your commanding officer, Baron von Toasty Toast. I'm in the red bunker, firing my S4, which stands for Sasquatch number four, because the rifle butt's such a big, it's so big on the back, it's got uh, a big footprint. <laughs> Dad jokes for days! Alright, what you got over there, buddy? You got a, you got a special gun? 
So this is not nearly as good of a gun as the one I just had. All right, it, we, we have a significant lead over the enemy. There's one more flag point, but I do have to be mindful that the enemy is spawning in over here. All right, I've got plenty of rounds left, and I can't die. That's another thing. So I gotta, I gotta link up with my boys. I do like that this thing can go full auto. Oh, snap, they're coming in. I'm getting shot at. Come on, boys! We gotta do this for, for our country! This is where we hold them. Watch out on the flank! They're overrunning us! We need more reinforcements! Well, I'll be darned if that ain't just the perfect time, and gentlemen, welcome to the battlefield! Blue victory! Woo! What's up now? I just had to increase the number of paratroopers that I had airborne. Parachute droppers, as some would like to say. Apparently, I was looking this up earlier. In the Battle of Operation Anchorage, um, or rather the Battle of Anchorage, between the Chinese and the Americans during the Fallout lore, the, uh, well, I guess actually kind of after that it started, to basically... So imagine, imagine, here we go. Imagine there's a big blue army and a big red, ar red army, and they're just fighting back and forth, and they got supply lines. And then blue just pair drops back here. But instead of this being a base, it's the mainland of China. Apparently, the Americans invaded China to kind of uh, limit some of the pressure that the Chinese were able to put in Alaska. Pretty cool. So the Americans used paratroopers, a massive paratrooper force, invading mainland China during the Fallout Wars. Or I guess that was called the Resource Wars? Or was that after the resource wars? I think that was after the resource wars. Yeah, that was the the American Sino the Sino American War. Anyway, okay, so let's see. This is a pretty cool. I like this map. I like this map a lot. It's very very detailed. I never really got to get in over here, but it looks like there's a train. Wouldn't it be cool if they could call in a giant train with reinforcements, or you could have a train going around on the map, um, and it would be armored. Then you could have like Civil War style battles. I wonder is there is there a Napoleonic and Civil War era? There isn't in this in in this one right now, is it? So we've got modern, we've got World War Two, we got World War One, we've got future, we got Stone Age, we got high culture, which is Egypt, Rome, and I think the Greeks, and then we have medieval, and then we have apocalypse. And apocalypse is pretty much uh, like Fallout themed, right? So that being said, it's time to battle in our Fallout themed battle for today. So here we go, when you search Fallout on the Steam Workshop, this amazing map which we checked out before, but it has been massively updated and now has proper units in it. We need more Fallout maps. My challenge to you Ancient Warfare 3 map makers is to make some really, really good Fallout maps. I would love to play them. All right, so you may recognize this castle, but last time we had, this was the Legionum Mortum, which I believe means uh, Dead Legion in Latin. I don't speak Latin. I'm not from Latinius. Actually, Latin is what? The, the, the Latin Peninsula? Basically, Italy back in the day, they spoke Latin. Crazy that Rome conquered the world, yet not many people at all speak Latin anymore. And that's just a weird, interesting thought, a shower thought for the day. So we've got the, we've got Caesar's Legion over here, and then we've got the New California Republic. All the units have been redone to kind of look better. Now this is really, really good. These are using, I think, survivors, like, uh, pipe rifles? And then there's a couple, like, M16 looking things. But I think most of them are semi-automatic. And then we've got, oh man, these guys, I think these are the, uh... NCR, New California Republic Power Armor guys. I believe that's what they're supposed to be. All right, they're actually not. They're heavy troopers. There's no real power armor system, but there is a modded unit that uh, tries to create power armor from Fallout, which is really, really awesome. If you, if we can find some mods with power armor, or maybe if you guys would like to see like some modded Fallout 4 uh, or New Vegas, probably Fallout 4 because there's a lot of really good mods for that. But if you want to see modded Fallout play, let me know, man, because I would love to play that game. And then we got the NCR, or excuse me, Caesar's Legion here. And um, Caesar's Legion, I remember asking in the last video, because it had been a while since I played New Vegas, and I actually didn't get to play a lot of New Vegas. But some of the Caesar's Legion, a lot of them were armed with firearms. They just were also armed with classic Roman-style weapons as well. So let's get this battle underway, and the siege of Caesar's Legion. Caesar. 
I don't know, that's a stretch, is about to begin. But if you guys have some custom battles that you want to see in the game, look at this, man. I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna be so dope. Look at this, man. Alright, boys. Come on, NCR. Oh, man, that gun looks sweet. So, let's see. Do I have... Do I have one of these guns? I kind of want one of these guns. But one of them is gonna die, and I'm gonna get to check out his gun. So, we're gonna go forward. We're gonna follow the heavy troopers here. We're part of the NCR detachment here to shut down Caesar Legion. Because, basically, if the NCR wants to take over all of the territories around... Then they're gonna have to eliminate all opposing factions. It's simple empire building, gentlemen. I think I got a SMG. No, I got a semi-automatic rifle. But you can kind of rat a tat tat. So I, I think I actually have that gun right there. Yeah, I definitely do. I don't know what it's called, but we have to use. I'm suppressing all the enemy soldiers on the gates here. Look at this. The heavy trooper just walked up. The heavy trooper went down. I'm gonna try to get his gun before I die, too. Improvise. Here we go. I got the MG. Gotta reload. Reload! Combat reload! Man, I tell you what. Some of these armored guys take forever. All right, so I think we're trying to bash down this door. I emptied a full mag into it. We finally broke through. Let's go, boys! Oh, my God. Someone's hacking us up. We got Roman legions. Caesar! Oh god, this is bad. Dude, look at these guys. We got freaking Spartan looking truckers. Where's my reinforcements? Help me! Oh god, this is bad. Okay, but I've got enough ammunition where I should be able to destroy these guys. You can hear bullets bouncing off their armor, but that's not power armor. They will eventually be destroyed. Now, they're blue, right? So this this is another Caesar's Legion soldier? Are all my men dead? I think they are. Oh my god. Caesar's Legion has defeated the NCR. We need to come back with another wave. This time, oh god. We're gonna, I think we're gonna recruit some of the local raiders. We're gonna pay them off. They're mercenaries. They're swords for hire. Or in some cases, guns for hire. And we will defeat Caesar's Legion. All right, guys. Let's start this baby out. Okay, so this time, I, as the leader of the NCR, did something that was controversial. I hired... I offered to pay off some local raiders here. Basically, we needed more men and we needed some melee power. So we've got these really cool looking revolver rifles, which are something that the raiders have been working on. It's pretty much a, a cheap and easier way to make firearms in this kind of like post-apocalyptic wasteland where there aren't really much factories anymore and technology is scarce and limited and you have to be raiders and salvagers. All right, so yeah. We've got these two raider factions that I've paid off. It's I almost feel like kind of like Mance Raider uniting the uh, the free people to the north of the wall in Game of Thrones. By the way, there's a really cool Game of Thrones map. But I want to know what's your favorite Fallout game? Which one is it? Let me know below because I I'm, I'm going to be playing a lot of Fallout, streaming it over on Facebook in the build up to the release of Fallout 76 as well as having footage to show off for you guys. So it's just going to be a massive, massive amount of Fallout and Fallout-related stuff because I think Fallout 76 is going to be the biggest game of uh, 2018. I think Red Dead Redemption 2 is also going to be very big, and I'm really looking forward to playing that too. Uh, I haven't got to play that. I don't have like a connection with Rockstar. They haven't invited me. I don't. I don't even know if they have events or anything. I'd love to attend some Rockstar events in the future, get some footage for you guys. But either way, we're going to be playing Red Dead Redemption 2. So back to the battle at hand, the NCR is doing a lot better now that we've got these raider factions to help us out. Because Caesar's Legion had a lot of battles with the raider clans that were around his area. I don't know what happened to my sensitivity, but it just it just changed, which is very weird. Uh, my, I manage my mouse sensitivity on my mouse. There's like this little button. Oh, we're out of bullets. All right, I got a baseball bat. Let's do this. Oh, what kind of gun does he have? An improvised gun. Which is like a survivor kind of gun. Oh, we still got men on the walls. Ooh, I love the sound of this. Good work, boys. And by good work, boys, I mean good shooting, Baron. Or as Blitz would say, nice shooting, Tex. Man, I can't wait to play Fallout 76 with, with some of my buddies. But yeah, I've been asking, like, uh, there's some games that my, my friends don't like to play. So if you have YouTuber, YouTuber buddies 
in mind that I should play with. You know, put them put them below, man. I'm so excited for the next couple weeks. Like September was so dull as far as game releases were concerned, but October is going to be fantastic, and November and December are going to be just as busy. Oh, there we go. That is a red victory. All right, so this time we're gonna watch this from the air, or rather, we're gonna we're gonna view the battle from above instead of being involved with it. And um, I'll show you basically where the raiders are located. This gun looks so cool. It looks like I have a shotgun, doesn't it? I never used the shotgun. There we go. All right, so we're gonna spectate. Now it looks like the raiders being kind of like probably souped up on like a. Uh, Psycho and what were what were some of the other like uh, stimulants that were in Fallout? There was like Psycho. Anyway, they would always the Raiders were crazy, right? I love the Raiders. I love like in any post-apocalyptic scenario, you always have people that are very similar to what the Raiders look like in Fallout. Basically, absolute savages with minimal with minimal like armor, just whatever they can get. Very makeshift armor. Here in the game, it's uh, kind of like you know, reference for us in terms of, like, signs and stuff like that, which is kind of funny. And then we got the baseball bats. There's always baseball bats wrapped in barbed wire, right? It was in, uh, The Walking Dead. It's in Fallout. It's in, like, all those kind of games. Look at this. Poor Caesar's Legion. I gotta get my camera right here. Because this guy's just, like, firing away. He's got raiders coming down the main path here. And then he's got those heavy NCR troopers. He actually took them both out. This guy's doing excellent. He's pretty well armored. He's got some modern looking armor here. So he's got like soldier armor and then he's got the Roman style helmets. I really like I really like these custom units that were made by Desert Mammoth, who made this. And Desert Mammoth was also the one who helped build uh, Operation Desert Viper, him with Vipers 213 in the last battle we just played. Now, so I played this last time on the on the channel and they updated so I had to check it out because it's the best and one of the only Fallout custom battles in Ancient Warfare 3 right now. Whoa. We're having a bit of frame rates. Not sure what that's all about. But yeah the Raiders are literally just hacking their hacking away through. And I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be this uh, heavy trooper. This heavy NCR soldier. And because I, I wanna get I wanna see how these raiders are just like tearing up everybody. This guy is like a super legionnaire here, but he, he can't do much against a fully automatic machine gun. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Run, boys! He's gonna hack you up! He's got a gun! Well, the other one does. Look at this. Oh man, I guess I, I laid into him a lot with my machine gun here. Fallout, boys! It is Fallout time. October is Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out and Fallout 76 beta is coming out Fallout 76 the game doesn't come out till November But the beta is gonna come out first on Xbox. I think it's October 23rd and then about a week later Is it the 30th or the 31st that's gonna come out on PC and then PS4 basically? I'm gonna be playing it first on Xbox, but then I'm gonna restart all my progress kind of thing and switch over to PC because you know if there ever are modded servers, I don't know, since so it's gonna be the first online one. Look at these look at these weapons. These weapons are so good, man. I love the kind of like, you know, post-apocalyptic style of them. But yeah. I'm gonna switch over to PC because I prefer to play on PC. But so for about a week we'll be playing on Xbox. We'll be streaming over here over on Facebook. We'll be making videos here. And I'm I'm thinking of putting out a let's play over on Baron Von Tactics of uh, Fallout 76 and um, I'm thinking of like more special videos maybe like weekly maybe one at least one a week maybe more it depends on how much you guys want it over here on the main channel so anyway stay posted there's gonna be big things coming if you want to see some pictures that I took from the event they're over on Twitter and my Instagram all right uh, links are in the video description below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. I've got some really cool videos coming. So hit that bell button so you're notified when videos go live. And I'll see you guys in the next video.